<clears throat> Hello. Uh, uh, this, I record this for Sky Truth. This is just some uh, things that I run into with downloading alerts. Um, the alerts is continues to be very useful. For example, uh, working on an action alert. Uh, the national organizations occasionally care about oil spills in the Gulf, but they don't usually want to do any new research. So often they're communicating some important but stale things like how many, uh, you know, uh, um, oil spills in the Gulf that are not recent, like the BP disaster, which is 14 years ago. Uh, of course, there's a lot of relevance to this because we're going back in with the anchor and the um, Cascadia plays we're going in hotter and deeper. But, you know, I, it's unfortunate, but we, we'd like to have some more update and in, updated information about oil spills on the shelf. Um, you know, so what I do is I use NRC alerts. Now you can do some things like how far back does a hundred get you? Not even, a couple of months um we're in summer it gets you one month 100 oil spills a month so boom um i i generally save the map to save the bounding box so i can come back to it and um you know you can put it here 100 oil spills which I guess that's just NRC alerts, which are mostly going to be spills to water since we don't regulate air pollution in the Gulf. We just said, just to have it, is that 14 July? In just over a month, we have 100. So that's always like a quick, oh, it's 18, okay. So, that's always a quick and good use. Um, and then we're kind of recording when we create the sheet, when it was. Usually I'll have a sheet for just meta information regarding the search. Then I'll have the, the alerts data, which in this case went to uh, 20,000. So it also is useful if you go to 20,000 how far long ago is that, right? You know, so definitely 100 is not enough. We want to go to 20,000 and we max it out looking at the shelf. I usually just download this at this point, download a CSV and edit it or remove the stuff at the end, do a, uh, a data expansion of the summary so this field gets uh, sorted in the columns by dashes, and that becomes usable and sortable information at the other end. I guess what I wanted to talk about was there are some predictable formatting issues, and it's interesting enough, um, some of the reports that we made at Healthy Golf. So, um, I don't know if at Sky Truth y'all can go back to these, but it's just a regular hiccup. Um, um, oh, another thing I always do is put the year. You know, the older data had time. I think we're at the point where 20,000 doesn't get us to that older data at that point. Um, but I always put the year from the incident date using the year function do some look some trend analysis i usually spell out latitude and longitude because it makes me sane and i parse out this data this data has been sorted out um type nrc medium and suspected responsible party get unpacked from this previous summary and then there's a convenient link um, function which turns this ID into a web page. Um, another thing I do is then standardize the name. So we're not going to do that today for this action alert that's due in an hour. 
you know, just working on a type timeline. Um, some of this stuff gets badly formatted where this one, uh, and I can send you the NRC numbers themselves since that's, you know, identifiable or the index is also identifiable and unique. Um, it's where it's in the B column. Um, this one, unknown oil near this point in a common Louisiana, the comma Louisiana in the, is that the title? In the title, kicks, kicks Louisiana into this column. And then that kicks everything out, kicks um, all of this information over one field, which um, then disrupts the sort data to columns. So I have to go back in and redo the sort data to columns. And then it it gets rid of some of this structure. So if I haven't messed with these six or seven um, um, shoot, <laughs> if I haven't dealt with these um, eight uh, incidents, it's it just undoes the format and I have to spend additional time. Um, I would like to spend formatting these uh, responsible party names, sorting, and and then. Right, so I could send uh, a list of this. It's like poorly formatted data. And every time I do this new search, some of these incidents from 2013, 2014 still come up. One of them is Taylor. A couple of them are tarballs re-reported on Grand Isle. So we do want to include them in the data set and not just kick them out, but uh, it always takes extra time um, since I have to go in and reformat things and just, you know, uh, do things one at a time. Um, so where are we at? 380 in Mississippi, 380 have done it. So moving on to the next one, weathered oil near Empire, you know, And making sure we get that location. All the fins in a ship channel. Just outside of the ship channel, actually. You know, you do a data. Split text columns. Yeah, why not? We can do that. And we can also do. Oh, come on. Doesn't like doing disjointed things. We did it by comma, and we can do it by backslash. Even though this is a lot of clicking, it's still faster. But if I were to do a lot of these, I would just reformat it. Okay. 2010, July. And, you know, we might want to go back and reformat the date. But um, On the individual basis, we can kind of cut and paste in a convenient way. But I'm doing this every 
year or so and um it just saved me a little time if I didn't have to reformat these ill formatted data points again and again. Okay. So we paste that. So I'll send you a CSV with these particular numbers. And ask that you consider uh, <clears throat> uh, reformatting the title column so that it doesn't, so that the, the comma and the inclusion of the state in the title doesn't screw up a uh, comma-based delimit. So what do we do? Yeah, so just to show you the, um, the thing there, you just look at water. Ah, yeah. So, right, I need to do some more formatting because some of the other errors include putting a lot of company names in the L column when we sort out. Some of that is not sky truth at all. It's just the way, you know, sometimes a medium is not included. Sometimes, um, you can see I've sorted this by medium. Sometimes the medium is not included in the report and it's it causes a format issue. This non-release category causes a format issue. There's some other things that cause a formatting issue uh, and uh, just um, for right now, primarily would be most interested in these ones that we know <clears throat> cause problems. So. Let's see, can we, can we do a medium? So we still got some Whitney oil and gas in there. Okay. Oceaneering. Great, now we have a medium. We've got a lot with maybe a space. Um, we can just filter this and just consider blank or water. Um, and then that's the filter. And we wanna do a row by year. So we can look at annual oil spills and even spit out a chart really fast. Things should be going down as production goes down in the Gulf. And we don't have 2009. So the other useful thing, you know, you hit your data limit. 2009 is incomplete here. Um, so we want to be able to do that year function and just get rid of it. and should have reformatted the whole table. I don't know what happened. Um, <laughs> and actually, we're going to get rid of 2010 as well, since that was such a... And why not 2011 as well? These were BP response years and probably don't need to be included. Um, <clears throat> but 
you know, so now we can say, you know, in 2024 might also be something to exclude from the analysis because of incomplete data. Curses. Now we end up with a very um, explicit trend with a little dip in 2020, which makes total sense. Um, this this line is basically a graph of drilling activity. So um, uh, it's almost uncanny. I think we've talked a little bit about that, how it's like they almost like uh, confine this to a thousand spills a year, almost like they plan it that way. But, um, you know, uh, now we have some better information on Spill trends in the Gulf went for commenting on five-year plans or some of these oil terminals. Um, so uh, mainly, uh, this is how Healthy Gulf were using the Sky Truth Alerts data to whip out some quick reports. And there are some recurring data errors. And if you could um, fix about eight different records, it would just make our life wonderful. Thank you so much.